Oh, that mid-range jumper is in and out. But she ends up with the offensive board. Good passing interior, and Sienna Durr with the easy bunny after the extra pack. 10. Clemens is going to back it up. Smart move by the junior. See if she can get a quality J. She does. Bang. And Janaya Clemens seeing the shot clock running down. Doesn't have a whole lot to offer uh, against her inside. Clemens with the turnaround. J is good. And Janaya Clemens in the sweet spot early on already has eight. 1.7 points per game. She finds the bottom of the net for the first time from deep. But hey, there's an answer from Riley Casey. Michaela Markham Casey. saw her teammate Hayes Harbor just cracks double figures. The step back three for Casey. Bang! And Riley Casey is now feeling it. We'll go a little mano a mano with Mackenzie and Riley. Ooh. My mom, Sue. Oh my gosh. Some uh, interesting car rides after practice, but mostly <laughs> positive memories. Today. With the shot clock running down, Riley Casey Riley gets the shooter's Casey. roll. My mother has been amped up for the Harvard Crimson to start this third quarter. Janaya Clemens, she did that in the first and now is into the, the J in the sweet spot. Yet a key, Amani Whittington back on the court for the Lions in this third quarter. Another J for Janaya. And she has been so effective in finding her shot and creating a midway through the second quarter and Harvard chipping away. Durr will try the triple, nothing but net. Sienna Durr, the freshman with her own sense of impeccable timing and that boosts the lead. With a 16 point lead, I would start slowing it down, working a little bit more shot clock and getting a great look like Sienna Durr does right there. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and with the free throws and the fist pump from Megan Griffin, a 10 point win as Columbia downs Harvard and earns its second Ivy League victory.